Help. Hi, we're Mr. and Mrs. Vegan. And we're here to break down the new FT8 label. Why don't you wheel that down, Kristen? <laughs> Alright, there we go. There we have it. What's the first thing that jumps out at you on this nutrition label? I don't know, this humongous bolded calories. You know, last time I saw somebody buying a pack of Twinkies, I noticed that they were studying that calorie label really closely, and they couldn't quite make out the calories. So I handed them a magnifying glass, and they held it on the Twinkie label, and the calories just jumped out of them, and they put it right back on the shelf. I mean, to me, this big, bolded label is straight up calorie shaming. So... Seriously! Did you know that 17% of Americans are food insecure? That means they're not getting enough calories to survive every day. By... Highlighting calories is a negative. We send a message that really fuels eating disorders out there. People don't know how to eat, what to eat, and what makes them fat, and neither does the FDA. It's pretty shameful that they're going after calories when so many people in our country and around the world are food insecure, and it does nothing to help the American people. Here at Mr. and Mrs. Vegan, we like to always look on the bright side and accentuate the positive. So a lot of people might be freaking out over this added sugar, but do you know what kind of foods you have to add sugar to to get you to eat them? I don't know, like protein and fat? All right, let's take a look at a human tongue here. <laughs> All right, what we see here is there are taste buds for sweet, sour, bitter, salty, and if you're a little baby, there's some umami. That's MSG. Don't go telling me that, oh my God, we taste umami. That's in <laughs> breast milk. It's glutamate. Anybody want some extra monosodium glutamate? I didn't think so. So the humans were carbovores, starchovores. The worst thing that happened with the new labels, they took off the most important piece of information. The calories from fat. So we have to teach you all how to read this new label to avoid poisoning yourself. Food poisoning is a real disease that affects almost two-thirds of Americans who are overeating, and it now affects more than 51% of the whole world. We're finally at a time where there's more people suffering from diseases of eating too much than there are from people starving. It's a really horrible thing here when you have all these extra calories that could be shared across the world and we wouldn't have people dying of starvation every day. Three million children a year, I don't know what the number is, but it's huge and it's embarrassing and it happens in our own country, in our own backyard, especially here in Los Angeles where we have so many people homeless on the street. How to read a label. So on this sample label here, we have eight grams of fat. And you see these percentages on the side. These are percentages for people on a 2,000 calorie a day diet. And if we look at the USDA caloric needs chart, we'll see that's about a mildly active eight-year-old. So how is this helping anybody make a food choice having these percentages on here? It's not at all. It's a really wasteful information. Most people think that 10% means it's 10% fat. You ready to see how much percentage of fat this is? Quick math, there's nine calories in every gram of fat, but we're just gonna round up to 10 because screw them, this is easier to do. Eight times 10 is 80. This package is 230 calories, per serving. 10% of that is 23. Whatever this sample thing is, is almost 40% fat. So I'll put that math on the screen here so you can do it. But you know, Miss Vegan and I, we're not gonna leave you hanging. We're gonna make a little card that you can download on mrandmrsvegan.com and you can pull it out. And when you're trying to read a label, you can look at this card and you can say, yep, too much fat in that for me. I'm gonna skip that one. Maybe we should tell you what we would like to see on a nutrition label. I know me, I would like to see all the ingredients and the percentages of the ingredients on the label. Yeah, don't just tell me natural flavors or whatever. I want to what see everything. And I want to see how much of that. I'd like to see the calories from fat. I'd like to see the calories from protein. And I'd like to see the calories from carbohydrates. And I'd like all those broken down by the type of proteins, the type of fats, and the type of sugars. You know what food companies are going to do to get around this? They're just going to add fruit juice. They're just going to add things that aren't added sugar that still make it sweet. Food companies have been playing this game since they started the FDA. They all know a way around. They can round down on the serving size. They can do all these things. The FDA has tried to combat that, and they now will have you put, here's another sample, the whole package calories on there. That's their thing. But again, no, nobody's reading this stuff. Eat food that doesn't have a label. Nobody needs to tell you that that carrot's healthy for you. That calorie shaming is absolutely horrible. It's a horrible message. There's waiting lines at eating disorder clinics all over the country because people are afraid of nourishing their bodies. We're going to see a lot more diseases of malnutrition due to people restricting their calories. We want you to eat nutrient-dense foods that are dilute in calories. That means we want you to eat 
foods like potatoes and rice and fruit and vegetables. You know, this is the calorie density chart. This is the most important thing everybody needs to see here. This shows you that vegetables are the lowest, fruit is the next, starches are the next, and then, you know, you have your refined starches like breads and pastas. And then look at when you get into these meats and dairies and fats and oil down here at 4,000 calories per pound. It's just insane. Everything above this line, you can eat freely. It doesn't matter how many calories are in it. You're going to maintain your weight or lose weight eating those foods to satiation. This FDA label is a complete disaster. It's sham. It's not based on science. And if you went out there and asked anybody on the street if they had any idea what these percentages mean or how many calories they need or who eats a 2,000 calorie a day diet, nobody's going to know. Complete failure by the federal government. Fail FDA. Fail FDA. If you like our videos, check out our playlists so you can learn how to lose weight on a vegan diet. That's one of our best topics because we both learned how to do that. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe down at the bottom. And if you hang out after this break, we'll show you why calorie in, calorie out is a complete failure. At the end of this segment, nobody out there will ever believe calorie in, calorie out ever again. So we start with a 150 pound man. We're gonna put him right here on the screen. That's pretty much how much I weigh. <laughs> now we're gonna pretend in a perfect world I have a 2,000 calorie a day metabolism and daily energy exertion. So that means every day I eat 2,000 calories, I burn 2,000 calories. I walk up the same flight of stairs, it's the same temperature every day, I take the same amount of breaths, I eat the same exact, I measure out all my food, put it all into my body exactly the same every single day. All right, so that means over the course of a year, I will not gain or lose a single ounce or pound or kilogram. Every dietitian, nutritionist, personal trainer, and doctor would say, okay, 3,500 calories in a pound of fat. If I needed to lose a pound, I would subtract 500 calories from my input every day. And over the course of a week, that's seven days, seven times 500, it's 3,500 calories. I would be one pound lighter at the end of the week. So let's have a little fun with our little 150 pound man here. And let's subtract 500 calories. We're gonna feed him 1,500 calories. I know a lot of you out there eat 1,500 calories or less. I know, we get your emails. And I know you're not losing the weight. You're gaining the weight. Sounds crazy, but that's what's going on out there. Look at two thirds of American public overweight or obese. So back to our guy here. We're gonna subtract those 500 calories for a whole year. It's 52 weeks, 52 pounds. By the end of the year, I would weigh 98 pounds. <laughs> what about we go one more year? I keep eating 1,500 calories a day, which again, a lot of you out there are eating that every single day. That's enough food for probably a six-year-old. I think let's go one more year, minus another 52 pounds. I now weigh 46 pounds. So my 46-pound skeleton that you're seeing here is now gonna go one more year on 1,500 calories and now I am vanished, I am not even, I'm, I'm gone, a poof of smoke. I'm negative six pounds. Calorie in, calorie out is a joke. Your body adapts. So if you set yourself on a 1200 calorie diet, all you're gonna do is metabolize a bunch of interskeletal muscles, you're gonna slow down your hormone production, you're gonna restrict- Have an aching back. You're gonna have a cloudy head, and you're actually going to get fatter over time because you can't maintain a 1200 calorie or a 1000 calorie diet, you're gonna completely adapt your body down for the starvation diet. And then when you start eating normal foods again, you're just gonna pile it back on because your metabolism is so restricted. And we see that all over. We get emails every day from people out there that have done this metabolic damage. The National Institute of Health, which again, the FDA, not talking to, did a study with The Biggest Loser all over the news showing the dangers of metabolic damage from starvation diets. And they showed these contestants that over time, they put on more weight than they lost. There's all these restrictive programs out there, and all they're doing is injuring the American public. All we have to do is shift our diet from fat and protein to a whole food carbohydrate focus, and it will work itself out. People will get trimmer naturally. When you eat, a low fat, high carbohydrate diet, your metabolism goes back up. You can reverse the damage done by these restrictive programs like Michelle Obama's pushing here with this calorie restricted FDA nutrition lying label. 